Hi, Maya. I'm Julia. Line up and welcome back. So we're over here with our friends. And we're gonna yeah. do a group real talk today. So our friends are very... They can just introduce oh, themselves. Yeah. Let's talk <laughs> them, right? So I'm Abba. I'm Iskis. I'm Salem. Uh, I'm Paul. So you guys have probably seen them on our Medias. stories and stuff. Yeah. So you, they're not new. Okay, so today's topic it's just like dating and I guess sex in your 20s because we're all in our 20s and that's what we're going to talk yeah. about. So we have and a few questions that we're just going to pull up and just see and discuss among us. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to start with this question and it is, can you start a relationship with casual sex? Who thinks, we're just going to do who thinks that you can who thinks that you can't. So can, raise your hand. Obviously you can. But yeah, okay, we're all can. Okay, we're, we're, we're all, all can. can. We all can. <laughs> We all can. I mm. feel like I don't think maybe I would start that way, mm. but I definitely feel it's possible. Yeah. Why do you I mean? feel like you couldn't? Because I I don't think that I can like I don't have know casual sex with someone. yeah with someone that I don't know. I, don't know. Yeah. I mean I would I think I'm the kind of person that would I I would would want to feel comfortable with this person first, so I wouldn't like like I I don't think I'd be able to do like a one night stand because mm. I just think that isn't me. I don't think I'd be able to have sex with someone that I don't know and that I don't really feel for in that way. So I think, I don't think that would happen to me, but I feel like it's obviously possible for the rest of the yeah. people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally. Like, I un- like I understand people that would prefer be- being in relationships first before having sex. But for me, it's like, I never like going in with something in mind at first. Like I don't like, n- Labeling. I, don't, I don't like labeling or like, dis- I don't want to decide before we even know each other what what we're gonna do with each other we might end up liking each other we might not so we might start casual but then we like really vibe and like develop feelings for each other or we might start dating um but end up not liking each other so i feel like you can't really decide what a serious relationship is gonna come from beforehand because it can really come from anything like it can come from casual sex friendship or dating i think it i mean it depends like i feel like you know you can definitely start like a relationship, you know, through casual sex. But I feel like, you know, that will be like the foundation of that relationship. That's what I feel like also. Like I sex, feel like it's yeah. dangerous to start something off with sex if you kind of have the intention of dating that person. Yeah. Because then, because then you kind of like, you automatically have this connection in between you guys that you can kind of <clears throat> think is something else and kind of yeah. say that, oh, this connection is feelings but it's not, it's just that you've yeah. had mm. sex with that person. So yeah. I feel like some people will confuse yeah. the feeling of you having sex with that connection yeah. for actually like something, uh, feeling something real for that person, like, you yeah. know, like liking that, that person. That is true. Yeah. So I yeah. feel like it's dangerous to start that. So I wouldn't want to start yeah. that way yeah. because I think I might confuse the feeling. Yeah, yeah. That's true. but as you said with like, if you have, if your intentions with this person is to date someone, then, you know, like I totally understand if you want to wait, but just mm. from my perspective, like, I have never decided my intentions beforehand. Mm. Yeah, I think yeah that's I, the difference. I think I'm more like Eva also in this context that I never know if I actually want to like pursue this person to go into a relationship. But I've definitely started like a more more long term uh, type of li- relationship where it started off with sex and then you got to know each other more in the process and it turned into feelings. But it has also been like oh we start off with sex and then maybe. Like in some instances, I feel like guys think that just because a girl has sex on the first date or whatever, just like start. You can't be taken seriously. Yeah. Um, Yeah, Which I think is definitely wrong Mm because if men can have casual sex on the first date, women should also be without being judged. Yeah, Um, no. And I feel like for me now, I feel like it's a type of stigma that I put on myself when it comes to meeting new people that now I definitely wouldn't want to have casual sex if I actually was looking for something. But before I was more like open to it. I I agree with uh, Maya and Paul. Because for me, like, I guess for me, sex is like more than just sex. If that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, it's more like an emotional yeah. connection. Yeah. Like yeah. the tip on the eyes. Yeah, yeah. so for <laughs> <laughs> tip on the eyes. <laughs> That's not the same. That's nice. Oh my like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tip Wait, on no. the eyes, yeah. <laughs> for me, that's why it's also very important to get to know the person before anything. Mm. Yeah. 
What are some red flags? I guess if you're starting to date someone or you meet someone that you like, what are some like automatic red flags for you that you think, hell not, like you back away immediately? So like for me, if the guy doesn't have any ambition whatsoever, it's a turn off. It's a turn, turn off. But I also hate when they don't say please or thank you. Like no, it's, just, it's just like yeah. an easy yeah. thing. Respect is so important. Yeah. I mean, it's not. It's not even about <laughs> respect. It's, it's something. A it's word. a word respect, that you learn yeah. since you were born to say please and thank you. Yeah. And the, the fact that you're, let's say, 23 and those still don't know how to say it, you have 23 years to practice this, and you're still not like. Manners. I just get so. Yeah. I get so agitated. Yes. What about you? What are your red flags, Emma? When they like start telling you what to do or what not to do. And I've never experienced this myself, actually, but like I've seen it happen to my friends. Mm. And I'm just like, you have to leave. Like, if this happens again, like you have to leave. And but that's like, like what? And like, can you like give us really an example? Con- like really controlling boyfriends specifically. I would say like usually I've, uh, it's boyfriends that do this to their girlfriends. And it's like they say maybe like, oh no, like I don't like you hanging out with that person. Or you can't like, like you can't go out or you can't wear this. Like yeah. I've. I know a guy that like told his girlfriend that like I don't I don't like it when you drink or like I don't want you to oh. drink. Okay. Well, um, damn. Okay. <laughs> that's a no. So that's a no because that's just gonna turn into like that's a sign of manipulative, manipulative, manipulative and like mental abuse. I think. I'm with Maya on that. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Please so. and thank you. Thank. Yeah. <laughs> it's important. Because it's so simple. It's, it's, it's so like so fundamentals. It's like yeah. it's too easy to not like have that in your mind mm-hmm. just say thank you it takes one second i don't really care about it that much when it comes to like my friends saying thank you but i look at the way people speak to maybe people in service like yeah. if you're not nice to people working in service then that's like mm. a, a red flag no, no like, you know what i think to waitresses and like yeah, i think it's like i think it's like the opposite oh, really? i get so irritated yeah. with my friends don't say thank you to yeah. me because it's like they take what i'm doing for granted let's yeah, say i exactly. i go all the way into town to meet you to give you the swear that you wanted to bar and you don't say thank you. I'm like, I literally <laughs> woke up at 8.30 to get here in your time sorry, to Maya. give you- I'm sorry, Maya. Damn, Maya. No, 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 or thank you because mm-hmm. like it's, it's like you're, it feels like you're taking me yeah, and what I yeah. do for granted. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think it's like it's more important the other way around. Oh, really? You don't you like you you always have to remember to say please and thank you thank you to the people that are really close and yeah. actually give you your time. You know what I mean? Because I feel like that stuff that can kind of you can take that for granted. You can think that oh, I meet her every day and like, she does it all the time for me. But it, it's, just, it's just something that I do, for, that I choose to do for you as a friend or as a boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever. Yeah. So I feel like it's easy for people to forget that and I just don't want, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like for me, like a red flag is definitely like clingy people. Okay. Like I'm really into like self care and stuff, so like I, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Paul like, cancels off. <laughs> yeah, I mean I can definitely like disappear like without like you know saying anything and just mm-hmm. like take care of myself, like chill by myself, mm-hmm. look at movies and series by myself. So I wouldn't like to date somebody that will be like, oh, I wanna be with you like all all this the fucking time, like yeah. all like you know. If you're work, can I come over to your work? I wanna just say hi. Like, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. Don't hit me up, bitch. Yeah, like, don't, it's like, you know, we can just like, you know, then we should have be like, like an but why isn't he hitting me up? <laughs> yeah, but no, but it doesn't have to be like, you know, like all the time. Mm. It's just like, when I talk to you guys, it, it comes naturally. Like, I don't have to force it. Like, if I wanna, like, you know, say hi, I'm gonna say hi. And if, you know, if I don't wanna say hi, I'm gonna just disappear to my yeah, own Yeah, you're just gonna time. ignore our message. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so clingy, you know? Yeah, like, yeah clingy. I don't like, you know, when people are like, clingy. Okay, mm-hmm. what about you, Salem? What's like a red flag? Red for flag you? for me is someone who can't communicate with me, mm. someone who can't have like a proper conversation or like just communicate in general, you know? Uh, also, I have a few. <laughs> 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 hygiene. Hygiene. Hygiene is, is like. Yes, if he don't wash. Mm, no. If he don't smell good. <laughs> I have a one red flag is not like being attentive or just hitting me up during booty call hours. That mm. is that is definitely oh, yeah. yeah. That's definitely. Yeah, and like if if this person 
this is another red flag. So many. Um, <laughs> if he has the need to make up excuses to why he can't meet you or talk to you, <laughs> red flag. Mm. No, but I feel like that's okay because if it's just like, no, like if he has the need to do it, what if you have an excuse? No, when you know that is not even true. When you got the receipts and you be like, <laughs> but you lying, didn't. Lying. Yeah. Red yeah, flag. Red flag sure. Like well, I had a lying in general is a red flag. Yeah. No, I there was one guy I was gonna go on a date and he made up an excuse, but then I saw that he did something completely different, <laughs> and I was like, it was just like an unnecessary lie. Yeah, like yeah. if that yeah, and that was like worst. yeah that and that was like the the first or second date, and I'm just like that's mm. such a turn off because like if you're gonna lie about not being able to see me on the first or second date, mm. what are you gonna lie about if we actually start me. getting into that's a relationship? True, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. But that's so yeah. easy for him to yeah. lie. Already. Oh, yeah. right. Like unnecessary lies are just like so. Because I wouldn't have been bothered if you said, "Oh, what, I'm what, what's an unnecessary lie?" And like what's some, a, something. What are you doing have today? Really, just told the truth, and I would have understand. Yeah, so like, like, like for your example, he could have really been just like, you know what? Something else came up that yeah. I have to do. I double booked. I have to meet my friend. Yeah. Instead of saying, "Oh, I'm gonna stay home and study," yeah. and he didn't even stay home. Like that's just an unnecessary. Yeah, lie. that's unnecessary. Yeah. Funniest one is when you know the truth. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just like, listening okay. to the guy yeah, lying. Absolutely, honey. <laughs> just let him go on. Like. What is the youngest slash oldest you can date? Age, yeah, age gaps. This is this is also this is casual sex only and also <laughs> dating. Yeah. yeah. So you're gonna have to speci- <clears throat> like specify what do you mean? Mm-hmm. So the biggest like, like we can start with like she has an opinion. Yeah. What? <laughs> Salem definitely has an opinion. Okay, so I don't dating, have dating, an dating, dating, dating. Date, let's talk about dating wise. Dating. Like I feel like twenty and above. How old like are you? Dating. Twenty, 20. and 20. above and above and above. Wait, how old are you? <laughs> I'm twenty. See, so you would you go younger okay. Like, when you're older, would you go younger too? Would you go younger now? So you wouldn't date an eighteen year old? It depends. Or nineteen year old? It depends. Like I feel I could date like a nineteen year old, but if an eighteen year old, it depends as like, you know, their ambition, their yeah, character. Let's say, yeah, obviously, yeah, obviously, 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 obviously up there. Yeah, yeah. but then I, mean, no, I no, think no, I'm I would. just saying I'm yeah. just if okay, let's say if I personally yeah, if that I, person like I wouldn't date a yeah. guy that was twenty seven had no ambition either. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, doesn't matter if he's eighteen yeah. or twenty seven. Yeah, but like <laughs> ideally, then I'll do like twenty and above. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maya? But I don't really mind, honestly. I can, I could go, I could go younger also. But my brother is born two thousand, so that's the line. <laughs> I mean, I'm born, I'm born ninety six, but I don't find, a, I don't like. Let's say I date someone that's three years younger than me. When I'm twenty nine, he's twenty six. When I'm you know what I mean? And when I'm 33, 30, it's not, yeah. it's not no. big numbers. I think, that, you know I think I mean? it's more complicated it's, if it's I younger. Mean, yeah, definitely. Like when I, if let's, yeah, I'm, I'm 21. Would I, would I date someone that's 18? I don't know. But I feel like, you know, when you get older, it it's just kind of like, mm. yeah, it, that's, then it's fine. Yeah. So I, yeah, I would go mm. as young as I wouldn't date anyone my brother's age because that's just weird. Mm. Your brother's 18. My brother's 18. He's born 2000. So 19 and above? So 19 and above, yeah. yeah. Salem? Um. <laughs> <laughs> so Salem wants a strong, no, independent. No, no, listen. Older. <laughs> We've discussed no. this. No. Well, she's, she's warmed up a bit. I've yeah. warmed up. Yeah. So she's before, if you ask me, I'll be like, he has to be older than me. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 26. <laughs> but um, now I'm. You would date someone that's 25. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we put yeah. just one year. <laughs> That's just pushed yeah. it down a yeah, year. Yeah, I would. Twenty five. Yeah, no. Twenty four. But I feel like for me, I realized this because I didn't get it before. But I think it's like when I, I feel like younger guys, I don't see them as attractive. Mm. It's just something like it doesn't really mean because he can be like ambitious and whatever the perfect guy. It's just that. I don't see. I don't know. I just don't. Is it like automatically? Like yeah, little brother? yeah. Is that that's what I see? That's the thing. Yeah. Okay, Julia. For me, I would definitely within my decade. So I'm. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. the same as me. That's the same as me. Like, uh, no, no, no. One thing: the legal age to buy alcohol is twenty. So I would definitely only date if it's twenty and above. So ninety niners in Sweden. In Sweden, by the way, Sweden. So ninety niners. I'm sorry, but <laughs> 98, I still feel like I could, depending on obviously. Like, How old are you? I'm born 96, so I'm 22. Okay. Thing is, there was this one guy that lied about his age, saying he was 25, turned out he was 19, which, which is like, and then that's when I realized, like, no, I wouldn't want to, like, buy 
buy you alcohol <laughs> for a whole year if we dated. <laughs> That's just so weird to me. I don't know. It's, yeah. yeah. But then, like, maximum born 90 because I have an uncle that's born 89 and that would feel weird if I dated someone the age of my uncle, I feel. Mm. What about you? For me, it's easy. 18 and above. <laughs> as long as it's legal. Have Do you have, like, a restriction when it comes to older? Because we, we, like, we talked mostly about, like, the oh, younger Oh, younger. People. We forgot about like, older. Do you mean 18 and above? So you're, like, okay, 45-year-old woman, like... Milk? Yeah, it's it's if it's a vibe, how am I supposed to stop that? What's the oldest like, you've dated? Um, 25 and up. Okay. Yeah. But I get the whole thing, like, okay, casual sex with, like, a 40-year-old male. But, like, <laughs> is that something... But I what if you date? fall in love in a 40-year-old woman? Of course. Woman? Like, but you can't... Th there's always exceptions, right? But, like, just ideally, like, introducing your friends and your family... To a 35, but, ob but obviously, no, no, but her, obviously, he vibed with that person. That person yeah, would I, I can't. obviously like, be able her, to vibe with her, his friends, also. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's not like he's gonna bring someone yeah. in that That's true. Can't it's not vibe easy, with his it's friends. not easy, like, but it's still a little weird. Like, I was working, I guess it's like it's not the normal, it's not <laughs> yeah, the standard, I mean, but yeah, like, it's, it's but if you, you can't love really, the person, yeah, you can't really control that. What about you? So, I like, I like my age the most how old are say. you and i'm born 98 so I, I don't know for some reason i like 98 but and that would be like ideally for me if i would date someone but y otherwise like usually also like within the decade i wouldn't want to go to 2000s yeah okay. because my brother is well, also that's only two the years yeah here's the thing here's the thing it's not about the years for me and it's the 2000s about, are 18 this yeah year, yeah of course so. The thing about me is that it's not about the age difference because two years is not like much to me that doesn't sound much but i'm super petty about the fact that you were born in 2000. <laughs> okay. like, i always talk you're shit one about of those people yeah. that were born in the 2000s okay, i'm yeah. like oh uh sorry Justin. but anyway <laughs> <laughs> but just like usually yeah. okay. um so that's why that's just like a petty block that i okay. have the mm -hmm. age thing it, it's not the age difference that i care mm -hmm. about when it's when it's the 2000s it's okay so that was like dating wise but like if you're just like having casual sex would you would you go be able to go younger and way older or what's up with that 18 and above i'm opening the the older guys that like i'm opening that up a little bit okay. for casual sex okay well look like if, if you're in a club you expect everyone to be 18 and above yeah and then there's like let's say a 16 year old girl in there so you can't really like <laughs> jasmine <laughs> i mean no that's true that's true you can't really i mean every because everyone in the club is supposed to be suppose, 18 yeah, and yeah. above so, like, so i get that you you assume everyone <laughs> is 18 yeah and but above. Then sometimes you're kind of like okay but what is this 55 year old guy doing here in the club <laughs> <laughs> <18 and> above? <laughs> but he's a little bit too old you know it's like okay well let's say you like you made up in your mind that you won't go lower than 25 Right. And then you like you're in the club and you don't really know. You don't really know. That's because you, like, you don't know. You don't know. You end up in this guy's home and he's like yeah, 21. The, yeah, the thing yeah. is with like with casual sex, usually like let's not even ask each other's age unless you're like a minor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I if you if you're like if if you're like if you age really well, how about you don't let me know that you're <laughs> like, if you look 30 but you actually are 45, then how about you don't tell me? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I won't tell you that I'm the same age as your daughter. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. wow! Wow, she went there. Wow. Wow. She went there. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm still staying within my decade. Like I'm still good. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, eighteen I, and above. Eighteen and above. I was saying. Yeah. I feel. I feel it's very no. Like for me, both dating. Is, I feel like. Yeah, I feel like it's the same. Up. I, I prefer I older know. guys. Yeah, I guess. I mean, somehow, like when I say eighteen and above, it's like somehow I filter out the like the 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 eighteen year olds, nineteen year olds, twenty years old. Somehow I just like filter them out. It's like out. gray zone. Yeah, I, I don't uh, like Yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay, can you date slash have sex with someone in your circle? Put yourself in a situation where there is a person that you could see yourself doing anything with. I'm in leaving your the circle. circle. <laughs> <laughs> leaving the circle, <laughs> then I'm a holler. Why? That's smart. That's You're leaving yeah. the circle. And then you can back. Yeah. Why yeah. connect to the circle and then want to be with someone where you could like not connect to the circle? Okay. And be with the person. Okay, but you guys are taking it. You guys are taking it in the wrong. Uh, okay, uh, 
listen now, okay? Mm. So you have this circle. Let's say our circle, mm-hmm. this circle that we're in right now. But there's a person that's that you know that's in the circle that you would want to date or slash have sex with, but you haven't really. It's not been discussed or anything, but just, I, so you know what uh, I mean. Let's say it's your three pants. So there's someone circle. You know, know what I mean. When so you wait, have, wait, wait. You know. So like, so the question is. So you guys have known each other for a while, and you just kind of like one day you're like, "Damn, I would have sex with you, or I would want to date you." Yeah. Would you do something about that? I would. Uh-huh. I mean, it's, it's you, more of the question I'm, I think I'm I'll be looking, like, looking I for. If I had a cup of drink, <laughs> we all know after a cup of drink. So you know, after <laughs> what would a couple you, what would drinks, you do? Let's say, let's say. You, you, you know, tipsy, what yeah. Would you say? yeah. What would you say? What would like, you do? I'll be like, hi, you know. <laughs> hi, <laughs> hi, hi. Like you know, what's up? You know. Wouldn't the the, the but friend I wouldn't, be like, he's he's tipsy right now. I can't take him seriously. But what if he's like tipsy as well? Because I'm, like, I'm thinking. Because I'm thinking. In Paul's world, ideally everybody. <laughs> <is tipsy. laughs> yeah, but I mean, I feel like you know. If I'm tipsy, mm. then I think I I would pursue. Would you have anxiety the morning after? The morning after, I'll just be like, nothing happened. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember. But then if it like continues like more five times, six times, ten oh, times, five, ten. ten times, then we have to have a discussion. What oh, going on? After <laughs> ten times, you have a discussion. Yeah, yeah. Oh I God. I feel I, I strongly right. feel so, like that. So strongly. <laughs> Paul lives in denial until the tenth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like you have to be sure. Okay, but because that's but that's, times, that's, yeah. that's quite yeah. a lot. You start with having sex. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, what if what, what about dating? Time? Like dating. So what if you think about this person you're like shit? You know what? Like this this person does something, and you're like shit. I think I just fell in love. You know you know what I mean? But I would never act. Would you act it. upon it? You no. wouldn't at all. So you, I would just you'd you know, love from afar. You have to see that no, person I, every single day. Dating I wouldn't people. love dating other people, but. and you wouldn't say how you. Yeah, feel. I would just be there for this person until they realize. What's, oh, like, what's your intention though? Like, it's your intention just to get laid, or you? No, 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 that no intention is dating. 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 Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Paul, I want to hear Paul. I don't think I would like. Do anything no. about it. Wow! If I no. had feelings for a guy, I would definitely pursue. Like, I'm not gonna live my life. But that's hard. Because yeah. if the person's in your circle and, and you guys are really good your friends, really yeah. good friends, it would be imagine like it would be so out. awkward to be like, I'm in love with you, and they're like, Nah, fine. I feel like no, I wouldn't. It's not like I would like be like, Oh, a confession. <laughs> no, it would <laughs> be like you, like you, usher you yeah. sliding. <laughs> the slide. It's like no, give some hints or something. Yeah, like obviously, if let's say we hang one on one, you can always like see. What happens? Mm. I get you that. Yeah. Like, but I would, ra- I would rather. Just, oh, 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 sparks. Oh wow. Connection. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I would rather, I would rather try like to date the person than just have sex with. Yeah, the person. of course. Like, For, like yeah. I would yeah. rather. I would, like, I'm the same. I would not. Like I would rather. I would, I would if it, not, it's, if it's, it's not just sex, it. you could just hit. Hit just up whoever, sex? but I like, just, yeah. I, don't yeah. feel like, I don't feel like I would be able to, to just see him as a friend. To see him as a friend later on. Yeah. yeah. Once the once we've had sex yeah. and we're in the same circle that we meet every we meet up every week, every birthday. I don't think personally interesting. that I would yeah, I, don't I would I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't dating be a bigger risk then? I d- but the thing is like, I'd okay, rather take sex, the yeah, risk. Yeah, so sex could on. just No, no, because the thing is the thing is Let's say we have sex multiple times. I would probably be the one to catch feelings for the guy. Okay, yeah. Okay, because yeah. I feel like, because sure. I feel like I like you and I like you enough and feel it comfortable enough with you to have sex with you. Yeah. yeah. Then I would, I would probably like end up more. falling for yeah. you in the okay. end. Yeah. So yeah. I would rather just risk it all from the beginning mm. and then try and date that person. So How would you go mm-hmm. on about mm-hmm. it though? Would you like? Um. Eh, I haven't thought about that. <laughs> but I feel like maybe I try to like put in some hints. Okay. And then if I don't get any hints back, I'll just be like, oh. I would just try to tell you. you really? I, I'd be scared. Then you take it from there. Then you need like. I'd be scared. I would like probably if would I. Would you just if, be like straight like, up? Obviously, I'd like read the signals like if there's even something. I wouldn't send out any signals. I would just tell you this is how I'm feeling. Really? Yeah. Brain. And then like from there, really like, scared. it's like. Because yeah. it, will, it will get less awkward. If you just straight, straight up, up. You know? that's true. Because the that's person true, could say, you know what, I'm I'm not really feeling yeah. you like that back, and then you can just leave it oh, at that wow. and stay friends. True. You know, mm-hmm. I guess that would be I the need, easier way. More, more but I wouldn't do it for like to, to get laid with someone in the circle. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's no, no like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like risk that. sex. Yeah, no, like, like just that. No. Yeah, yeah. Someone told me. Someone told me yesterday that if if um 
99% of the people in this world um, like didn't find you attractive there's like only 1% of the world that like 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 that feels that you're attractive yeah it's still like 75 million people yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that you have a chance with <laughs> okay cool yeah, so yeah, there's hope that's, there's true, hope that's for true you're kind of obviously like, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm more um, with it but isn't it something side. really beautiful to just be already super good friends with someone and then like oh like something grows yeah yeah love. exactly no, that's, that's like kind of what I, like for example me and my ex that's how we met you know we were friends first actually and that's what I like because I feel like then I get to know you on a deeper level and then I'm like more sure that I yeah, like but if like I tell you, like, straight up tell you, this is how I'm feeling, mm. you still get a chance to get to know me in a different way. Exactly, because yeah. you... You get what I'm saying? Because mm. all this time that you you guys been hanging in the circle, yeah, you've that's only like known I feel like it will be more side, of a yeah. pressure then, because then I know. I will be like, okay, I know he likes me. Yeah, but it's know. not weird. It's not like I'm sending you out single. No, obviously game, like, not. But it's just like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I understand. Still. I would rather live my life knowing I at least tried than True. thinking I mean, what if. Yes, obviously, but that, it's, yep. it's easier. Just it's easier, <laughs> to <say that. laughs> it's easier, easier to say that. It's easier to say that. Plus, cut to the chase. Just like, here's my feelings, take them or throw them away, and then I can move on with my life. Yeah. For me, I think... <sighs> It's super easy with the sex thing. Like I can totally address that and just like let you know. But the dating thing, if I start, if I start feeling like I have romantic feelings for someone, mm. then I would maybe wait a while, see how long I actually have these feelings. Mm. Let's, Cause what if it's just a little crush for like a few months, and maybe yeah. I can just let that go. But if I'm in love with this person for like a year, then I should probably. Yeah, say obviously. Something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I've actually I been in like a situation, something. like a recent situation, with me and my really like good friend. I was just like, hmm. So there's been like this tension. We should just talk about it. Yeah. So I think I'm I'm super chill with that. Yeah. I, I yeah. I think you, if if you just throw off this like chill chill vibe that you're like you're open to talk about these things yeah. and not and, like there's no need for feelings to get hurt or having any tension afterwards. I think it's it's gonna be totally fine to mm -hmm. just be yeah. It doesn't open. have to become and, awkward. Yeah, and if this person is already a really good friend, I I think that person will also respect your feelings mm. and be able to yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. respond. Would you would you would you date um anyone's ex like you're in your circle? No. No. What about what about friend of a friend? Depends. D depends how close yeah. I am yeah. with friend of a friend. I could. I guess. Is bad sex a deal breaker? So I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. put it in a I'm gonna, or like I'm gonna put in it into a scenario for you guys to make it yeah. easier. Yeah. I'm gonna put it in a scenario. So let's say you are in a happy relationship, one year relationship with your boyfriend slash girlfriend, and you know the sex is not as good as you thought it would be, and mm. it's not getting better. No signs of it getting better at all. <laughs> You've talked to the person, they've tried. It's not getting better. Is it a deal breaker? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What, well, Paul? I mean, like. I think I'll be able to compromise. Oh, <laughs> oh let me, well. let me <laughs> master <laughs> next to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, if I really like this person, like, I'm in love with you. Mm. Like, I feel like, I think I'll be satisfied with, like, the emotion of No, but of the it. question is, it's, you're not satisfied. That's yeah. the thing, you're not satisfied. <laughs> then, you know, we're going to have to take some classes. Oh, wow. I mean, we're going to have Read to, Read you know, that Kamas, buy him Kamasuka or something. Right, you know, we gotta we got to have to talk to a therapist. You know, we got to <laughs> check you out. You know, we got to do all this medical oh, stuff. Okay, no, you're wow, not going to wow, do that. Wow. You're not the, doing the that. But I'm, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, if we are in a relationship, like, in a relationship for, like, two years, and the sex is still bad. Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. I, mean, I, I wouldn't even like half a year and we have it's to bad. It's, talk about it. Wouldn't it. Even, yeah. yeah. What, yeah. What about this side of the? Of For the me, pool? it's such a deal breaker that we wouldn't even make it to a year. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> wouldn't even make it two months. Yeah, no, no, no. But me. let's say like you guys are like the the all the other aspects of your relationship are five out of five stars. It's all great. It's just the sex thing that stars. isn't really. I feel like <laughs> sex is less quite less. a big part of a relationship especially yeah. if because i'm an intimate person i like being close both like physically and mentally yeah. and sex is also a huge commu communication thing so if like i like to communicate during sex and if this person is not able to listen and like respond I don't understand yeah. like how our communication is working because it's mm. clearly not. I, I believe it can actually make you like quite unhappy in the relationship on all other levels as well. Yeah. Because like 
sex for me can be just sex but it can also be if i like someone it can be more so i think it's gonna affect other parts of your relationship if the sex is bad for a year yeah like, for so long because it can definitely improve within like two weeks if you just communicate of like after the let's say the first time wasn't very good sure that that can improve but if you're actually in a relationship like i wouldn't even be in a relationship with someone if the sex wasn't good like we'll we'll wait with the relationship until it's good <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. yeah i don't really know i haven't I've not been in that situation. I've never I don't had know. That yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how. To I know. I bust it down. I'm a stallion. I'm a stallion. I put it down, so it all it never. <laughs> I think for me, since like I already have a hard time catching feelings, <laughs> it's also like savage. A, <laughs> it's already a big part of me developing feelings mm. that our sex is good. <laughs> so it's yeah, it's like. True. Plus everything. Uh, be on your above. Mm. But I guess yeah. it kind of depends because it feels like f- when you talked about your relationship yesterday, Salem, it, like you had already gotten to know the person already. So like other aspects of your relationship were good at the time before you ha- even had sex. But for me, like I like to have sex early. Mm. So I wouldn't even find out these good things about you. Mm. Okay, you mean like that? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you think is like the, what, let's say, What's like the the right amount to wait before you have sex with the person that you're dating? Oh That's no, up to you. That's I up don't to, like, know. Like, <laughs> is that is is, is, there, is there is there yeah. like an unwritten rule or is it up to some people say one date, some say three, some say f- go five, with your ten. gut feeling? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Just do what you. I yeah. don't know. If it feels right, yeah. if it feels right, go yeah. for it. Yeah, no, definitely. I was thinking, at the moment. I was just I was just wondering if you guys had a rule oh, that like you a were personal personal rule. I get annoyed when people say yeah, like you know. The third time we meet, where like where's the rule? I want to mm. like, yeah. Where did you get so, yeah, this from? So that's like, what I'm saying. Like, if you guys have a personal rule, mm-hmm. what would you if guys? If we have say? chemistry and it happens, it happens. Yeah. yeah. But like, I'm not, I'm not gonna force. Like, okay, we're gonna after third day, like, yeah, no, we're no, 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 obviously, obviously, like, that's not happening. But me. if you guys have, your because of your own experiences, what is the? If is, is it all different with different I mean, people? I mean, for is me, it, is when I'm sober, it's. <laughs> <laughs> like in the I'm, world like when I'm sober then we're gonna have to wait like oh, two three four, years? four dates yeah. but when I'm tipsy like you no know no dates no we dates we wouldn't <laughs> even have to finish the dinner so. wow what's wow. dinner, wow. what dinner? <laughs> yeah, you don't so, even go to dinner so it depends what meal are you eating <laughs> well. so it depends well. yeah, it okay <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually all the questions Paul, we had for today. Paul is always, <laughs> Paul is strong always so strong tipsy finish. or sober. <laughs> Paul is a straw. You don't chug it like that. <laughs> oh my god! Just suck it. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, that's Amazing. all. <laughs> that's all we had for this episode. We yes. hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and then we, you know, we'll answer them for you. We hope you guys had fun watching mm. our group of friends here. Yeah, guys, yes. don't think that I'm alcoholic. Or anything, <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> Every other I, just like I just like to drink. I just like to drink.